right, so this video is a continuation of the uh, geometry creation uh, video that was already uh, put on my channel. Uh, what we're going to do is take this geometry and use it to drill, spot drill and drill these holes. We'll do a stock setup and uh, machine type and just a basic drilling, uh, how to get code using MasterCam, basic drilling operations. So what we're going to do first is uh, go to machine, mill, all right, and I'm going to hit default. You probably, we're not going to have all of these, so I'm just going to hit default. That's fine for now. We're not actually going to run this component, so we're just messing around the MasterCam side of things for now. Notice we have new tab tool paths up here. First step I want to do is go to properties. Now you have machine group one in tool paths, which was, uh, you know, there's nothing there before. So we're going to go to tool settings and uh, you could put a program number here, feeds and speed information, uh, material type for the speed and feed calculation. Uh, I'm going to ignore all that, leave it for default for now. But what I want you to do is assign tool number sequentially, warn of duplicate tool numbers and use that tool step heck and coolant. Um, the most important one being assign tool number sequentially. Uh, we're just using a default library uh, that MasterCam has. And if we assign tool number sequentially, it'll start one, two, three, four, instead of us having to go back and change each one to an appropriate number. Uh, we will now go to stock setup, hit display. Now I'm going to hit select corners. And select corners, select two opposed corners. It was a three by three square. And I'm going to give it a Z of quarter of an inch. If I hit green check, you will see in red the stock appear. Okay. After that, up in the 2D area for toolpaths, select drill. When you select drill, the first thing that's going to come up is toolpath hole definition. Click all the holes. And if we had a ton of holes, there's different ways to select different diameters of holes and whatnot. But we only have 16 holes, so we'll just click them. And notice that. When, as we click through, the yellow line is the path it's going to take. We can change the sorting of these holes later. It's not critical right now, but just know that it's going to, you know, start with in the order you pick them. So if you went back and forth, it would follow you. All right. We will now hit green check. All right. And we can now focus on setting up our tools. Now, notice in the 2D tool pads for drills, there's circle milling, a helix bore, thread mill, point. That's all great. We're just going to stick with drill. Another good thing to do right now is check point geometry and uh, make sure you have 16. If not, if you hit that click, it'll go back to the previous menu we were just on and allow you to add or delete holes as necessary. Now we're going to go to tool and hit select library tool. Give it a minute to boot up. And what this is, is if we turn the filter off, this is our tool list that we're working with right now, which is a default tool list that everybody would have. What I want to do is turn the filter on and turn the filter parameters on. What this does allows us to search through the entire list given certain parameters we want. So right now I want to make sure spot drill is on, gray is off, blue is on, equal to 3 8 diameter, and all the tool materials and radius types are clicked. Hit green check. Now the only tool given those parameters in this library is right here, so we'll double click. And what I want you to do, um, this tool, if we double click on the tool itself right here, it defaults to a 90 degree tip angle. I want to change that to 118 degrees. There's other properties in your finalized properties. You could, you could create new tools, whatever. Um, that'll be a separate video. But for right now, it's the only reason I want to stay in there. Finish. The default feed rates and speeds and feeds are fine for this example. Holder stock information are irrelevant for us right now. Cut parameters defaults to drill counterbar, which is GD1. That's what we want. All right. Tool access control is not necessary right now. Linking parameters is very necessary. For the clearance plane, all right, when you're doing very simple 2D work, I want to make sure everything is in absolute. Okay. And I want to make sure clearance is set to two inches. Use clearance only at the start and end of operation. Change the retract to 100 thousands. Top of stock is zero. Depth, all right. We want to put a little chamfer on these um, using this tool to help us. It, uh, you know, it shouldn't deburr. You don't need, you shouldn't have to deburr it by doing what we're going to do now. We're going to drill a little bit deeper than necessary with the spot drill. Give us a little bit of a chamfer lead in for the quarter inch drill. So if we go to this little calculator right here, the finished diameter we want is going to be like 0.280 which is fine, all right? If we had the tool in front of us, we could measure the, the width of the flat. Right now, we'll leave it as zero because it's not real critical. And we're going to overwrite the depth. Okay, I always overwrite the depth. I don't really like to add. I don't use that a lot. I always overwrite. If we hit green check, all right, it gives us a number. 
right? You'll see later what this number is all about. Everything else is fine. We don't need anything else right now. We will hit green check. All right. Now, before we look at this and watch Mastercam do its thing, we're going to try to stay organized. So we'll click, left click here and move over. All right. And we're going to put in spot drill. Okay. This is organized. We will then, uh, we're going to watch this run. So the first way to do that is using backplot, which is the black background with three squiggly lines. We'll click that. And the backplot window comes up. And you could hit play. And you could watch it run. Speed control is right here. All right. You could actually stop it and move this around and watch it run. We'll just hit play. You can see. Um, Let's move around. Okay. Yellow is rapid. Blue is feed. All right. The other way to look at that is to go to verify, which is right next to back plot. Right here. And a new window will pop up. It'll take a minute to load up. And then you can hit play. And it'll actually run and it shows you some material being removed in a way. And what I want to show you here is, is why we use that little calculator and linking parameters. Notice how this is the drill diameter we're going to be creating. The spot drill made a hole a little bit bigger diameter. This is going to be a little bit of a lead in chamfer and allow us to hopefully not have to deburr this. Okay. So that's verify. All right. All right, so those holes are spot drills. So what we want to do is I want to turn this tool path off. I don't want to see it on the graphics display screen anymore. So the squiggly lines right here turns tool paths on or off so you can see them or not. Then what I want to do is I want to copy this. So I want to right click, copy, right click, paste. The reason for that is I don't want to select all the holes again. There's no need. So we have two of the same operation. If we take this operation, click and move to the left and just change it to drilling op, Go to parameters. First thing I want to change is going to be the tool. So I'm going to go to tool, select library tool. All right, it'll load up. I'm going to turn the filter to a drill equal to a quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch drill loads up. We're good to go there. Notice it's tool two. We're going to go to cut parameters. Pack drill is already on. Pack of 75 thousandths, whatever for this example. Linking parameters, everything's the same except for depth is going to be minus 0.25. Now, the drill is not going to go through the workpiece because the workpiece is quarter of an inch. So this drill, the tip of the drill is going to go to quarter inch. It's not going to give us a through hole. So now, instead of adding some number or doing any math, if you go to tip compensation and just turn it on, now the drill will go through the workpiece by 10 thousandths of an inch. All right. Very important, as long as the drill tip angle is 118. All right. Now we'll hit green check. All right. Now you see this operation has a red X here on toolpath. It means the dirty operation needs to be put through the algorithms again to get regenerated. So right here you'll see regenerate all selected operations. The little checkbox here means it's selected. Regenerate. Now we can turn that toolpath on and you'll see the toolpath is going through the workpiece. If we go back to parameters and turn tip compensation off, and regenerate the operation. You'll see it only goes down to the bottom. The drill ends here, and you're going to see a drill point here. So I'll go back to parameters and just turn that on. Right click isometric and regenerate the operation. All right, now we're ready to roll. Notice only the drilling operation is selected. To select all operations, select all operations up in the upper left, right underneath the T and tool paths. Both are on. Okay, we can then go to verify. And we can hit play. And you'll see it spot drill and drill. All right. And this will give us a good view. If we go to verify and go turn color loop on, you will see that each tool will have a different color. Notice it has a nice chamfer lead in. All right. Quick way to do that. All right. This looks good from here. All right. Now what I want to do is create code. I'll hit G1, green check, and I'll save it. You know, just by default is fine. 
for now, normally I'd save it on a flash drive or something and bring it to the machine, but that's fine for now. And you'll see the code expert load up. And this is everything right now. There's our G code that brings to the machine. Okay. This G code is default post processor. There's a post and a machine type. Uh, you define that early on, or you could re you know replace it later. Um, this is the current post processor we're using, which is default. You'll see spot drill is here because it matches that. You go down here to drill operation, matches drill operation, keeps us organized. All right, and um, that's really what it's all about. All that work is to get this code. Um, if you're familiar with hand programming, it's, it's the opposite with discriminator. You write the code and you get a graph. So it's the opposite. All right. So hopefully that was helpful.